The arrival of winter in Taiwan brings with it recurring air pollution problems and warnings for dangerous PM 2.5 levels are frequently issued during this time of the year. Jai City and Puli Nanto used to be considered some of the cleanest towns in the country. But according to data, PM 2.5 levels in these areas are more than double the average recommended by the WHO in over two-thirds of a year. It has driven residents to assert their own so-called right to breathe. They use Internet message boards to rally others to the cause of improving local air quality. Our Sunday in-depth report. After getting out of bed each morning, Dr. Yu Shangru, the founder of the Jai PM 2.5 Self-Help Association, immediately goes to the roof of his house to take pictures of the air quality in his home of Jai. Today's air quality is quite good because you can see the mountains from the house. You can even spot those three buildings in the distance. There's another row over there, and off to the side you can see the road and the writing on the shop signs. These are all things I look for in my observations. Five years ago, when she had just moved to Taiwan, Dr. Yu Shanru's Japanese wife, Yukiko, wondered why she couldn't see the verdant mountains from her home in the location right next to Taiwan's central mountain range. Her question moved her husband, a native of Jiayi, to think back to when his hometown still had clean air and ask why it had all changed. <laughs> One day, when I left home to go to work, I looked to my right and found that, even at such a short distance, I could only see the bottom floors of the department store. I couldn't even see the top. Jai isn't considered overdeveloped, and the city has little in the way of heavy industry, while boasting many green spaces and parks. So why are levels of PM 2.5 small particulate matter in the city's air so high? A wind current simulation provided by National Zhongxin University seems to point the finger at Formosa Plastics 6 Naphtha Cracker Complex in Yulin, the Taichung Power Plant, and other big polluters in the region. Taiwan's central mountain range, which sits to Jai's east, also acts as a barrier which prevents the dispersion of pollutants. This is PM2.5. When it comes to the water, it will the water. This EPA official shows off an air quality measurement device, explaining that the official EPA website is updated hourly with new readings from this and other similar devices from around Taiwan. According to data collected by the devices, the average concentration of PM2.5 in Jiayi over the past 10 years was more than twice the average recommended by the WHO, with more than 35 percent of the city's pollutants coming from outside the region. Dr. Yu began to think of a way to help bring attention to the issue of worsening air quality. In February 2014, he set up Taiwan's first PM2.5 self-help association on social media in the hope of channeling social pressure to win back the right to breathe clean air. Our goal is to educate everyone about this PM2.5 problem, to let them know where those problems occur and to teach them about the potential solutions or possibilities. Everyone needs to breathe. So I think that the problem of air pollution is even more important than food safety. An overnight rain shower has cleared the air in Puli Township in Nanto County. And the reduced visibility on this day is just down to mist rather than a smog of pollutants. Information from the Taiwan Healthy Air Alliance, though, says that Puli sees more than 10 days every winter, during which PM 2.5 reaches levels high enough to merit the most severe pollution alert possible. Puli is located in a basin, so the concentration of pollutants there changes very drastically from day to night. Around noon, when the winds are stronger and thermal convection more pronounced, the concentration of pollutants is lower. But come evening, the air cools and that cold air starts to settle in what we call nocturnal drainage winds, which make it easier for pollutants to collect there. Our 
Our small restaurants, hotels, and laundromats use diesel or fuel oil for their furnaces, which is one source of pollution. On holidays, there's heavy traffic on Lake Road, and National Freeway buses is another major pollution source. To protest against the declining air quality in their city, more than a thousand Puli residents once took to the streets calling upon the government to take the issue of air pollution seriously. Theirs was Taiwan's first ever organized anti-air pollution protest. Meanwhile, thanks to the ceaseless work of Dr. Yu Shangru, Jiayi held the country's first camp for those interested in learning more about air pollution. Taking a breath is easy, but taking a breath of clean air isn't especially if you live in some parts of Taiwan. Increasing public awareness of the problem of air pollution is driving more and more people to fight to preserve what they demand is a right to air that's safe and clean for them and their families. <laughs>